Hi, I'm Steve Hooper, and I'm running for re-election to the Keene City Council after serving four years in Ward 1. This fall, I'm seeking an at-large position. Now a bit of background. I currently own Hooper Visuals, a commercial photography and videography business in Keene. Additionally, I teach photography courses through the Cheshire Academy of Lifelong Learning at Keene State College. I have leadership experience. I was chairman of the New Hampshire West Chapter American Red Cross for four years. Uh, I coordinated the four-year grassroots efforts to make the film An American Nurse at War, which chronicles the Red Cross War experience of my great-aunt, Marion McCune Rice. The award-winning film was completed in late 1997. A newly edited DVD version with closed captioning is available. But most importantly, my almost four years as a Keene City Councilor in Ward 1 has expanded my knowledge of how the city of Keene is run. This experience of working with both city staff and city residents is vital in knowing what it takes to get the job done responsibly and fairly. I have served on the Municipal Facilities and Infrastructure Committee, the Ash Wheelett River Park Advisory Board, and the Special City Goals Committee. A few council accomplishments. I work with fellow City Councilor Jan Manwaring to push for clarification on the definitions of hotel, shelter, lodging house, and sober house in the City Code. This initiated action by the City Manager to rewrite the code and make the process easier for shelters seeking new or larger facilities. This work is wrapping up now. Complaints by residents on speeding on residential streets has brought forth my efforts to have new speed signs installed on Baker Street and on Edgewood Drive. I have initiated a collaboration between the City of Keene and Antioch University to start a bat education program at Ashwila River Park. Four bat houses will be installed with educational signs as part of the City's Education in the Parks program. I work with the City and Edgewood community residents on the contentious tree cutting at the airport. I was pleased to contribute to initiating common sense compromise solutions during this tough period. And now to the issues. Keen property tax increases have been around 2% annually the last couple of years. The state needs to responsibly send more revenue to municipalities so that towns and cities do not have to burden property taxpayers with more increases. My action, I will continue to pressure the state to, to increase revenue to Keen. For example, Keen got only 21% of revenue from the state on meals and rooms tax distribution this year. The state must be pressured to increase the intended tax distribution to the city. Also, I will continue to support reducing our debt load by finding creative ways to bring in public-private revenue. Also, I support the key tax base expansion because commercial and industrial development will increase property taxation revenue and decrease impact on keen property owners. Renewable energy initiatives such as solar need to be pushed aggressively as we move away from dependency on fossil fuels. My action? I supported the solar panels used on the city works building and will continue to support initiatives moving forward. Downtown revitalization must be encouraged. I supported the hiring of a downtown coordinator. My action, I will monitor the work being done by this downtown coordinator and continue to encourage downtown activity. I support the arts. As a Ward 1 counselor, I supported Keene Airport Art Project by Katie Schwerin. A labyrinth was installed for the enjoyment of airport visitors and the public in general. I supported the Wild Dog Festival that brought murals to the city, which excited much interest, and have initiated self-guided historical group tours. My action, I will continue to support the arts in Keene, which have been a proven way to bring visitors and business to the city. I ask for your continued support and your vote this November. I will continue to listen to you. Thank you.